Hello, we are Group 4 and we have been the consultants for Group uh, 1, which had uh, a site kennelstarmacino.n. Uh, this is our table of content, what we will be talking about. And here we go. All right. Yeah, in this page, I don't want you to give you much information right now. It's just uh, to let you know which is the page. Uh, as you can see the name here, docs. Uh, everything is very beautiful. but. Um, you can see that it has some uh, things that it must be um, uh, fixed and we need some improvements to do. <coughs> well, okay. At the beginning of the research stage, we did a, a strategy meeting with the group one to define the, both the audience and the goals for the site. Um, the audience for this website is people who is interested in, do in dogs and maybe um, willing to buy a new doc. Um, this broad audience can be divided into groups. The ones that have had a dog and they have experience in taking care of a dog and therefore know the language related to it. And the other group is people who has never had a dog and who are buying, uh, who are buying their, their his dog and don't know the specific vocabulary related to this field. The goals for the site are showing the, the dogs available for sale, showing the awards won by the dogs spread by the company, and providing the users with a clear navigation, organization, and labeling systems, which will let the users to find the content they are looking for, and they will not get frustrated by complex menus or content not, not well structured, and they will not leave the page so the website will keep a, pot a, a potential sale. Uh, well, uh, we did uh, the, the benchmarking as, as our first research method. Uh, we, we did uh, a, comparing a competitive benchmarking, comparing our website with other sites with, with an information architecture we could learn from. Uh, our website, as you see, uh, has a poor interface with monotonous color colors in background and its fonts, and a simple and disordered structure. And after checking our, our competitor sites and other sites with a similar content and good architecture, we realized of some things and what should be our main focus improving the website. <coughs> All right. uh, our main focus is making it cleaner. This is ours. Um, we first want to change the colors because they're awful. Um, and the fonts to make them more comfortable uh, to the eye. Along with removing <coughs> the bad framing, you can see it's all, all framed in like uh, boxes. Um, <coughs> make it more visible. Uh, as we can see in other websites uh, where things flow better together and the harmony of the sites are better. Uh, things like a white background, you can't see the framework, everything just blends nicely together. Uh, as the next point, we wanted to center the website. Uh, so now it's like on the left, not in the middle. Um, then we wanted to improve the navigation, uh, sort it in local structure with a uh, global and local navigation bar. As you can see here, up here, this is the one, everything is just linked in the global navigation bar. What we want to do is make it like this. You have the main, um, the main links, and then you have uh, maybe a drop-down menu or smaller uh, links in other pages and when you click on one of them uh, you will get the local navigation bar um, uh, yes 
we want to, uh, lastly, we wanted to organize the content of the site using the same type of fonts. Uh, the design and layout of the whole site has to be consistent, both main page and subsites, not only colors and design, but uh, also in which way uh, the content is written. Uh, have a clear template of how, uh, how to do things. Um, one example is always have a picture first and then the content. There should also be uh, the possibility to press each article and go to an own subsite for the article. Uh, if uh, every article uh, has like a teaser instead of now everything is just written down um, and you have to scroll to get through everything. If you can click on each of them and get to that site and then read uh, uh, it as it own, it will be much better. Um, every article should also have an order and a timestamp to uh, easily organize and local, uh, locate articles. Finally, we have to separate the content with separating lines instead of just writing, they've just written like this, like that, that, that. and we should uh, um, separate it with program. Yes. All right. Uh, holistic evaluation is uh, another method that we use to get information. Uh, this one is uh, is um, focused on the on the content, and it uh, takes its basis in these five points. The first point um, uh, talks about the site providing users access to the same information by different sites. Uh, it's true. This is true. I mean, you can you can in the in the old website you can access the same information from different sites, but this is not a good point because uh, the structure is so simple that it was almost impossible not to do like this. Then, uh, indexes and sitemaps uh, supplementing taxonomy. Yeah, uh, there are not indexes, indexes nor sitemaps here, but this is not a problem because, uh, as I said, the, the um, website it was so simple that you don't need these complex elements of navigation. Then, uh, one of the main problems is that uh, the navigation <coughs> system should uh, not provide, don't provide, uh, doesn't provide, sorry, a sense of context. That means that the user doesn't know where, where he is or where she is when he's browsing the website. This, uh, this is a problem. Then, uh, talking about the language again, uh, as our mm, room uh, made uh, said, uh, there are different kinds of audiences. Uh, some of them don't understand the technical uh, words about dogs so they uh, in the website they do well to use a simple language so everybody can understand then searching and browsing must uh, reinforce each other there is no searching here because as i told you the site is so simple so we don't need this so the outcomes uh, the conclusions we get from from this uh, from this heuristical evaluation is uh, that there are some good things and bad things and uh, the bad things the main one is there that there is no sense of context uh, the users don't know where they are, usually. Then the language is good, but sometimes it can be so colloquial that it can give the, the, the website, uh, like, th this is not uh, professional, it's joking. But then we have a hierarchical structure, which is not clear, but it's so simple, and it's well organized. The, the poor content, at least, is well organized. And we can say as well that the site is simple, and we don't need, we don't need here navigation, uh, complex navigation systems or search systems or whatever. Okay, the strategy meeting we did was also useful to, to discover some problems of the website. Um, first of all, we realized that all the content is mixed together, photos, text, uh, awards, and there is no uh, a clear division uh, between the different kinds of content. So uh, um, to solve this, we recommend to categorize, to categorize all the content and group similar content together, which will, let, which will lead the user to, to browse the website in an efficient way. Um, we also noticed that the website style is not consistent because several font sizes and, and, and colors are used nonsense. And this gives the web page a uh, non-professional image. And also it can confuse the user because the size or the color of the text no longer means its relevance. Our recommendation is to use a consistent style to the web and use the larger fonts for the most relevant content or for the headings. Um, so by improving the grouping of the content and using a consistent style, 
we will improve, improve the congestion and navigation system, which will lead into an improvement of the menus. And that's how we propose this improvement. Uh, beginning with the blueprint, which we rearranged, and the website blueprint, and summarize the many topics that we have previously, and into these new ones. So the main page and about us, which uh, gathers history, dogs we have before, photo gallery, so it's about their history. And then a new section, which is our dogs, and then all the breeds that were before in the navigation bar and was kind of messy. So now they are rearranged like this. And we kept the, uh, both guest book and contact us and just improved their design because they look fine, they work fine. And for the first wireframe, we have this new design with a shorter page, so you don't have to scroll all the way down and all the way back uh, to get to the navigation bar. So as I mentioned before, main page, about us, our dogs, get book and contact us. And on the main page, we have the welcome and a brief definition of the purpose of the website, which is selling dogs and talking about dogs. And here below, a blog which contains the awards, the videos, and some nutrition tips. So it keeps the main page, the home page, fresh. So the, the users does have a reason to visit the web, web, web page uh, more frequently. And in the right side, we have the news mini gallery. So you don't have the many information all over the uh, website, so it's right here, and it's simple, and you can go the, to the next, to the previous. And here, a uh, digital counter, instead of the text that they had before, saying like, you are the visitor number 2000. So this is more clean. And we also included uh, English and then Spanish button, as the previous website said that they the owners, they can speak Spanish and English. So this is good for getting more clients if they do a English and uh, Spanish ver version uh, besides the Norwegian one. Yeah. We also created a second wireframe, as you can see here. With this wireframe, we want to show the page um, of the category, of the new category, uh, Our Dogs. And um, yeah, then if you if the visitor the visitor is directed to this page when he's on the main page, and then um, clicks on the navigation bar on the category our dogs, and um, as you can see here, um, um, if the visitor is then on the category our dogs, um, this is now highlighted in darker blue. Uh, so the so that the user knows uh, where exactly he's browsing, um, and if the visitor then chooses the breed Bobos Tips, like here, all the names of the dogs are shown um, within the street, and with the click on the name of the dog, uh, yeah, we have here like comment the Bobatin, um, yeah, a, a table with information is shown, like the age of the dog the parents, where he um, was born, the behavior as well as the, the awards he has won. And um, yeah, the information given um, for the dogs uh, and the breed should be all the same. Because until now, on the um, last page, or on the first page, um, it was like very untidy and a lot of mixed information about the dogs. So we wanted to make this um, clear and structured for every dog and breed. And here on the right side, um, yeah, to the, to the information, um, yeah, we wanted to have um, yeah, like pic pictures of the dogs with, with funny subtitles or additional information and um, yeah. All right. When it comes about uh, content uh, management or administration, uh, we don't really mind uh, we don't think that it's so important to fix uh, the, um, the rules and the roles. We don't really think that it's important to say who is going to do 
which action in the with the data. Uh, the the actions that are going to be done are at um, information, deleting, modifying, not something more. But uh, we uh, think that it's important to advise that it should be uh, nice for the website to use uh, an external software, maybe to um, to uh, control or, uh, the the data, uh, like a content management system, for example, or uh, implementing an intranet, which is easy for the for the staff to to make that that actions over the data. And well. In order to enable a better na um, indexation and classification of the content, we recommend to add some metadata for every piece of content. And this metadata would have mm, a title of the content, the, the, the date of publication, the category, the document type, and some key keywords related to the, to the content. And then to finish, uh, we would like to say something about the templates, but we already did. So it's just a little summarize. Uh, in the organization schema, we see that we have uh, now clear categories. Uh, even we added some subcategories that were necessary because of the of because the content was all mixed together, was not good. Then uh, we thought that uh, w in the in the doc pages, for example, it would be nice to add some tables, as Sarah said. Then about the navigation system, if we uh, it's clear that if we change the organization schema, we need to change something in the navigation system. We now added local navigation in, in some pages, and we have clear categories now, which are easy to for the users to browse the website. And then about the labels, uh, just uh, simplifying them in the in the in the navigation systems, and then adding some headings so the the users know where they are. In, in each moment in the website. And that's all. <coughs> Thank you. Okay, um, uh, regarding the benchmarking, um, I understand you were kind of comparing with general sites, but uh, maybe when you're comparing a, this kind of site, like selling clothes or information, so then you should compare with a similar site. So you should kind of pick a competitor or and even if they don't do exactly the same thing, there's some what are partially overlapping competitors. Um, <coughs> and um, with the heuristics, sorry, uh, I understand you picked out a lot of uh, things that could be improved. Are, are you the are you the experts? Mm, <laughs> actually, we are because we are the consultants. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> at least we should be experts. Yeah. Drop down? Yeah, like um, no. like um, no, no. Like if you go to about us, do you get everything underneath about us? No, no. We want it. We want a local navigation, like yeah, yeah like this. Yeah, you have okay. Yeah. So when as they go to the previous previous page, so this is the top page. Yeah. Yeah. So if you click on the, on the top page, do you you don't have a drop down? You just get to the other pages. Yes. Okay. Yes. But you always can see the navigation. Yeah. Bar. In that case, I, I, I just wonder about this about us because it's kind of hard to guess the, all of the information that's underneath about us. About so us? I, it's yeah. uh, about their history because the owners, uh, yeah. they had a, uh, they tell about where, where are they from, where yeah. they lived, and it was like nowhere. So we decided to do about us, and they are also a photo gallery that they had photos all over the place, and we decided to do in a photo gallery. Yeah. So, but um, it's hard to know what is going to be in that section unless you mm -hmm. click on it. So mm -hmm. see that there's like they've been to certain dog shows or something, and there's photos about dogs underneath that about us. People might not think to look there, and then they don't know that there's yeah. no photos. So it, in that sense, the site maybe with the top page. Could be like a, a pull-down okay. menu. Yeah. 
And then uh, on the individuals, we did speak on, well, I mean, it could work the same way on all the pages, but also about the local menu. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, in the metadata, the new version of metadata, what is title? What does that mean? Um, the, the title of the piece of content. I don't know. Okay. In this case, it's a, a breed. No, it's the name of the yeah, dog. Yeah, a dog. It's the dog's name. It's not the breed. So not is the it breed. dog's name? It's the dog's name. It's the dog's name yeah. or is it the breed? This is the dog's name. Okay. Not the breed. But it is uh, <coughs> as a metadata. You might identify the animal. I mean, I'm being very specific here because uh, yeah. overall you did a great job. You covered all the things in the strategy report. Uh, the blueprints and the wireframes are very good and detailed. You relate it back to the real site. So I think you did a good, really a good job on this. I just was like picking out things that would be important. Yeah. So, okay. And, um, yeah, I, I don't know if it's, um, if you want, I could post these on the website, but I don't know if you think that's a good idea or a bad idea. It's a good idea. I assume everybody knows how to find the Hemoldex by now. There's stuff on the page. Hemoldex is at the bottom of the page. You can look under this, 44 themes. And then you find the number, where is it? Mm, there. And then you have the materials. And here you have all of the <laughs> lectures. And uh, there's lecture notes from this year, and there's also some earlier summary notes from last year. You don't need to use this one. This is from last year's. Um, I, I added a couple of um, reports. This was, you said I could put this up. And this was from assignment number two. It's just an example of assignment number two that was a good example. I'm not going to put them all up because there's too many reports. So you can just look at that one. Um, I think in order to prepare for the exam, you should look at, for example, uh, this uh, exam from, let me put up an exam from 2008. Where was that? Yeah. No. Mm. I think it was 
this one. Yes. Yeah. So we went over this last time, and maybe you should practice doing this. So do it yourself, and then that will be kind of a good practice for the exam because it's kind of the same structure and similar types of questions. So if you are good at answering this one, you probably will be good preparation for the exam. Um, and it's in English and it's in Norwegian. The thing about this year is the English and the Norwegian are gonna be in the same document. So each question's gonna be English and then Norwegian underneath. And you can answer in English or you can answer in Norwegian, uh, but not Spanish. <laughs> um, yes, and uh, I didn't have this up last time, but I just posted this now. So this is kind of a just basic summary from from the all the other notes it's about the definitions, the concepts, user needs and behaviors, the anatomy, and uh, this um, relates to exercise number one, where you have to talk about the organizational systems, the systems and the schemes. Uh, you had to talk about, and the structures, and then you had to talk about the labeling systems, and then you have to talk about the navigation systems, so in exercise number one, you had and the search systems, you had to identify different elements from the web page, and uh, this is uh, you should be able to do this. So if you can do exer if you couldn't do exercise one very well last time, you should try to practice and do it again this time. Um, And then the, the chapters like 10, 11, and 12 are very central, especially in, in exercise number two and number three. So again, you should go through exercise number two and go through exercise number three and make sure that you can do those exercises. So um, being aware of what the tools and methods are and how they fit in, look at chapters 10, 11, 12 again, uh, make sure you know what they're about. Uh, and then um, we didn't talk so much about education and ethics, but you could look at those chapters. And um, I think we didn't, we also didn't talk very much about business strategy. So I think focus on the things that were in the exercises, in the chapters that relate to the exercises. Uh, do practice exam. Uh, and um, um, I can put up exercise three. I probably put it up here uh, because I don't really know if I can add things to the other directories or not. I can try. Um, let me see. The other thing is you can look at the video lectures. So like this, today's lecture is up here, or will be up here. And then these are for all the other chapters. I, I didn't add the titles for these. I should go through that and add the titles for these lectures as well. But if you want to look at how other people did the exercises, you can look at the, um, the video that where they do the exercises. Um, I will put up everybody's name here so everybody has satisfied uh, number three that's on this list. And uh, so I just, um, I don't really need to change this because uh, you can just say that you, you, this, everyone that's on this list is able to take the exam. So if you don't find your name on the list, you're not uh, on the approved list to take the exam. Um, so the exam is on uh, December 2nd at 9 o'clock. You can bring a dictionary and that's it. Um, and the rest of it is closed book. So, so you just have to kind of practice the, the concepts ahead of time and then 
and then be prepared to write for four hours. <laughs> or if you write faster. Um, so I think that's, that's uh, pretty much it. Look at um, like the things that I commented on today, like with the strategy report, look at the sections of the strategy report. And if you're not clear about some research methods, you should read through what the research methods are again. So that's pretty much it. Does, does anyone have any questions? Yeah. Are you putting out the strategy, strategy reports on the menu? A new line in the menu? Uh, it's, it's difficult because I, uh, I don't have so much access to all the directories here. So the exercise number three, I will probably put your reports up underneath the lectures. Okay. So um, I'm going to see if I can, I don't think I can put them anywhere else <laughs> at this point. Um, if you log into Fronter, there's nothing additional on Fronter that just points to this page. Mm. Yeah, it's under the required weekly <coughs> exercises. Um, if that helps you prepare, then you can try to do them, but we, they, weren't, they weren't required. We didn't really focus on them. Um, you can use that. Yeah, we, we didn't uh, read this uh, book, so you're not responsible for reading this book. Yeah. But you are responsible for anything that might be in this one, in the, in the course book. Okay. Um, and I'm, I should be around in my office, so you can either send me email, or if you want to stop by the office, just um, send me a warning so I know that you're coming and then I'll try to be in the office when you come. Um, and I would just mention that if you have Second Life account, I can also meet you in Second Life. <laughs> But you don't have to. <laughs> so there's lots of there's lots of ways to contact me. Email, come to my office, or my virtual self. So, yeah. Okay. So thanks for your participation so far. And good luck on the exam. <laughs> I have uh, yeah. two, one question. Uh, <laughs> when we are talking about bottom up and, and top. Uh, 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 down. <laughs> I have not uh, understand clearly what, uh, how, how, how what's the different uh, effect of those. Well, uh, bottom down is when you have like an organization that decides how the web page is going to look and they design the web page and then they add content. And bottom up will be if the end users decide to So that's bottom up. And, and, and top down, that's the cre creators of the page. The owners and creators. Yes. Okay.